Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you guys probably know, I love talking about uh, more lifestyle sorts of topics and I've enjoyed home decor for so long, like honestly, as long as I can remember. Like I love buying books on decor and I'm always saving pictures of like living rooms and kitchens <laughs> and things. Um, and it just makes me really happy. I had quite a bit of feedback from you guys recently saying that you'd really enjoy kind of more home decor style videos here on my channel. So yeah, I thought I would dive in with talking about how you can make a rented place feel more like your own. Honestly, buying a house is like my main goal and we will get there, we will definitely get there, but I've been renting places for quite a few years now. Obviously not renting, but the first time I tried to make a place feel like my own was at uni. So <laughs> you had like a little shoe box of a room, like a so small. Like whenever I think back to how small that room is, I'm like, what? How did I live in there? <laughs> that was the first time that I remember, you know, like really trying to put my own touches to a space and just doing what I could with it, even when it's the tiniest space. Since uni, I've kind of like dotted around a little bit, like lived around London. I live just on the outside skirts at the moment um, and yeah I've always rented you know you want to kind of put your touch on places and obviously at the same time you don't want to upset your landlord um, you know so you, there's kind of these boundaries that you don't want to push a boundary too much because obviously it's not your own place so I just thought it could be helpful to just chat a bit about ways that I make places feel more like my own at the top as well I want to say I know a lot of these things are probably quite obvious and I'm not trying to, it's not like a groundbreaking video, like I'm not trying to come up with like a hundred new ways that you can do it. They're quite basic ways, quite simple ways, but and it's just for a bit of inspo, you know, like, and I'll show you around our house as well and what I've tried to do where, and also at a time where it's like, it's so much harder for us to buy, isn't it? You know, so it's like, I feel like a lot more of us want a place to really feel like our own, where it's, become so difficult or like lo a much longer process to be able to buy your own place. The first way, and it's probably the most obvious way, is artwork and frames and mirrors and things like that. So I love Decenio. There's probably loads of places online where you can buy um, like prints and frames and things, but I really like to sit, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't sponsored or anything. That's just, it's just my go-to place. Yeah, so when we moved here, I went on Decenio, I'll link it down below. They just, it's really good price wise because a lot of the time you'll wanna probably get quite a few prints at once and make some sort of collage and they can, when you're buying prints, it can add up really, really quickly. Um, and they've got a really, really big selection. So, but anyway, or you can obviously just be looking around London or around your local area um, for some nice prints and you can pick up some like secondhand or vintage frames. That would be really, really nice actually. Um, like more of a personal touch, I should do that. But adding a bit of artwork to your home is such a nice way of adding your own character to it. It's such a nice way of being able to put something up in your space that can kind of like make you feel um, like more positive, make you feel happy. Some prints you're really attracted to and that's, they're the kind of things that you wanna kind of be placing around in your home. And obviously if you're renting, you a lot of the time won't be able to drill holes in the wall, which is so, it makes me so sad. <laughs> There's so many things I see that you have to drill them in and then we're like, oh, we can't do that. But you can obviously get those like sticky tabs. You can, I, get, I get them on Amazon in bulk. <laughs> So we put frames up that way, we use the sticky pads. So you, I mean, this is obvious, I know, but so you don't create any holes. Mirrors as well, or I feel like a really, really obvious one, and I don't need to talk about them much, but um, especially if you're, especially if you're renting a place that's quite small, they can help it to, they help create the illusion of it looking much bigger. Um, and I honestly, I'm obsessed with mirrors. Like, I kind of put them ev like wherever I can in a place. Um, because they're just so pretty and I think they add more light to the room as well. It's more spacious and you feel like you can breathe a bit more with more mirrors, like, is that just me? My next one is changing the hardware where you can. So cabinets, shelves, shelving units, um, your TV, whatever your TV's on, wherever kind of like the bones of the room are. Sometimes I wish I could change the bones of the house, you know, like my obsession is wooden flooring and I'm so up, like we've got carpet here, <laughs> even though I really like where we are at the moment, but um, I wish it had wooden floors. I just feel like they look so much more modern and, oh, damn it. Anyway, <laughs> my point was, um, before you kind of start adding in your smaller personal touches, I, where I can, will, um, like create my own bones of the the space 
like our TV unit. I was quite uh, particular about the, sh the type of wood that I wanted. Like I don't really like the warmer, more like reddish wood. Um, so where I can, I change it to like the more cool toned wood. It's just boring, but sometimes Ikea just comes in handy and their white furniture just, you know, updates the, updates the house a bit more and um, it kind of makes the room look more spacious. Things like take like coffee tables, shelves, storage. If you can start with a base of those things, um, um, that look a bit more like your style of decor then it's a lot easier to add on top of them with like small things that you find it just may it just ties everything together yeah. better plants i went on a mad one the other day i went to i went to our local plant center and i went mad so you, you might have noticed that i've got some like the room looks a bit different um this is bob this is dolores <laughs> um so i feel like plants have had such a boom over the last kind of like five years or so and there's the you know the whole kind of urban jungle look and they're just amazing because you can pick and choose what kind of plants you gravitate towards that helps add a bit of your character to your space even with plants also you know if you want your place to look a bit more instagrammy or like good for backgrounds and things certain plants give you that look i know that sounds really superficial it's just one of the reasons you know they can help with that as well as just being gorgeous beings <laughs> that are really difficult to keep alive <laughs> if you're not sure if you want a child yet have a go at trying to keep a plant alive. <laughs> it's much easier though keeping a child alive than a plant. Obviously bring a lot of room to, uh, a lot of room? No. <laughs> they obviously bring a lot of life to a room. They really brighten up a room. They also add, um, they purify the air. And I think they're proven to kind of help you mentally as well. They help you kind of think better. Okay, I know it's another really simple one. It's like, I feel some of these things I'm like why am I doing this video but rugs obviously you guys know you you know about rugs but uh for me it's been a big thing for when you go when you move into somewhere and you really dislike the carpet like that is I think the main thing for me and where we are at the moment so I've tried to customize it where I can and just add in really nice rugs that kind of give that I love that kind of scandy look you know for the flooring so i've tried to get rugs like downstairs in the living room i got a really nice rug it's from john lewis and it's just to kind of give me a bit of that look that i want without me being able to have it because i obviously can't <laughs> take up the carpets also rugs can be really expensive but when you do really need one just for a space quickly i really like home sense because they've got a lot of good choices um it's a bit more affordable i love home sense and i'm always in there like laying them out on the floor and people are like <laughs> So this is one that I've only done recently because I felt like you weren't allowed to do it. Curtains and blinds. So I feel like um, maybe with this one, like you might want to ask your landlord just to make sure if it's okay to take down current curtains and blinds and things. Ah, sorry, itchy nose. Um, and obviously, <laughs> obviously you don't want to throw anything away that was that's in a rented place because it's your landlord's. Um, but for me, I just I store it all away really safely where it's not being damaged or anything. I've sw switched out some of the curtains that were around the house because I just feel like they're a bit like heavy. And I kind of just wanted to add my own touch around the windows and for them to be a really light and like a really nice space. I got some curtains from H&M Home. They do some really, really nice options. I got some velvet ones from there um, and also home sensors as well they do some really affordable like nice white curtains i got some recently for our upstairs hallway oh also sh uh, shower curtains another one that i was like oh i don't know if i'm allowed to do that but i was like it's fine urban outfitters home do some really nice um shower curtains i actually want to update our ones um my next one is light fixtures so this is another recent one that i did and it's another one where maybe ask your landlord because they might be particular about their light and lampshades and but it makes such a big difference to a room. I didn't realize it. So for Indy's room, I got her this cute kind of lace, intricate one. Um, and then for my office room, I've recently just got one from B&Q. It was like, I think it was like 20 quid. And honestly, it makes such a difference to the whole room. Again, it's something that doesn't cost the earth. Um, to make quite a big change. Candles as well. I know you guys don't immediately. I know this one's very straightforward and I'm sure a lot of you love candles because you, you guys know I am obsessed with candles. Um, but even more than the kind of scented candles you get everywhere, I really like pillar candles. So the really simple ones. Um, I feel like they add a really kind of lived in look to a room and I really like them for living rooms in particular. I really like to have a little collection of them all together. I think they look really nice after they've burnt a bit and the, the wax kind of creates that 
you know, it drips down. Somewhere I like to get them from is Tiger, or you know those kind of Scandi shops that have loads of random things in. That's really handy because they're really exp inexpensive. And I've also got them from Amazon before as well. So you don't really don't have to spend a lot on them. So my last one is something that I've always liked doing. Um, and it's just trying to, it's really trying to cr make every room feel cozy. But I'm just obsessed with coziness. And I feel like when I, you guys, if you follow me for a while, you'll know that I got really into like hygge. Huga, is that who you say it? Is it come from Denmark originally? And it's just like the, like creating a coziness. I'm kind of weirdly obsessed with adding textures and a feel to a room. So I love doing this, especially with the living room because you obviously spend a lot of your time in the evenings, like on, well I do anyway, on, on the sofa, watching TV, like with a blanket, with hot drinks. Um, so for me, I love like adding blankets and nice cushions and things into, into that room. And I feel like it, again, makes it feel, makes it feel a lot more personal. As I'm doing this video, I'm like, I'm, it's weird because I feel like my aim is to try and create like an emotional connection to rooms. I have literally just thought of that. That's kind of what I try to do in the living room anyway. I think especially because I work from home, so so much of my time is here. So it's really important to me to love my space. Obviously bedroom as well. I actually want to get like a new throw or quilt to go over our bed. It's just that I feel like we're not in there that much. So that's where sometimes you have to weigh up when you're renting, like what's worth investing in, what isn't, like what rooms are you spending a lot of your times in? And the rooms that I don't spend much time in, um, I haven't, put like tons of touches into that room because I'm like there's no point wasting money so yeah there are all my little tips for how to make a rented place feel more like your own and I hope you guys liked this it's something that I really enjoy doing and I really feel like you don't always need to spend a lot doing as well if I've mentioned any like websites and things I'll pop them down below so you guys can have a look and uh, let me know if you want me to do any more content around like rent rented places or styling decor if you guys were wondering my shirt dress thingy is from it's like a denim shirt dress from misguided please let me know what you thought down below because I'd love to get, have some feedback on this because I know it's a little bit different for me. Subscribe if you want to be updated of new videos of mine. Give the video a like if you liked it and if you want me to do more like this and you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, everything's down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!